Today I want to share some tips to always look elegant and instantly elevate your overall appearance. These are tips that I use myself. They're things that I like to pull out when I'm feeling a little bit frustrated with how my outfit is coming together and I kind of want to push it in the elegant direction. It's something that I'm very intentional about because you don't always necessarily want that but finding that elegant but modern twist and kind of finding things that feel perfect for you can be really helpful as you develop your style. So I want to share some of my with you today. I'm also really excited to be working with Lily Silk again. I'm going to be styling some of their pieces throughout. I think this is probably my favorite collection that they've done so far and there are so many beautiful things. So you can definitely use these tips with things that you already have in your closet. But if you are looking for anything new, I'm going to link all of the pieces that I'm styling down below. I also of course have two discount codes for you. So the first is 20 Audrey and that gives you 20% off of your entire purchase or you can use 25 Audrey and that gives you 25% off your purchase of $480 or more. So I'm going to put all of that information in the description box down below along with links. So let's get started. So to start things off, I want to quickly go over how I view elegance and how I channel that within my outfits and my wardrobe. So for me, it comes down to feeling very comfortable and an intentionality in allowing yourself to find things that allow you to feel really great, but also give you the aesthetic that you're looking for. So I like things to be polished, very intentional, like I said and very considered from head to toe. I like color palettes that kind of go together and ultimately a level of ease. And I think that that really comes down to feeling the most comfortable in your own skin and doing things that allow you to feel that. So my first tip comes down to understanding your proportions and how you want to enhance those and how you want to kind of play around with that. There's a lot of information out there about dressing your body type and a lot of that is centered around kind of moderating everything and allowing Allowing you to feel kind of similar to everyone else and I think that a better way to go about it is to find things that make you feel your best really lean into what makes you unique and I know for me personally I have a really short torso and long legs so even though I'm petite long pants tend to work fine and I've really leaned into that in the last couple years rather than trying to kind of compensate like I used to do I used to go for a mid waist and cropped pants and that was in an effort to make my legs look more normal in length in comparison into my torso. So now I've really kind of leaned into the proportions that exist naturally within my body and going for a crop top and long pants allows me to do that in a way that allows me to feel very comfortable in my clothing. So definitely play around with this for yourself and try variations of your usual combinations until you find one that feels great. So instead of a long top, go for the crop top. You can even take a regular top that you have and then tie it so that it looks more cropped and that can kind of allow you to dip your toes into it as you figure out if it's what you like. And definitely within this collection from Lily Silk for this season, they have some excellent crop tops. So if you are similar to me and you have a really short torso, I think these are perfect. As you can see the one that I'm wearing today, it hits at exactly the perfect spot and it's perfectly fitted. Now within this, a really great way to play around with that but then keep it very modern is to go for a matching set but kind of break it a little bit. And by keeping the colors very similar, the details like the gold buttons and everything Thing to kind of feel very harmonious. It's going to feel very, very intentional, but a little bit off kilter. So it's not the usual expectation, but it's still kind of a light, like I like to mention a lot, kind of letting your clothes speak for you. And clothing has personality and clothing has a language and structured jackets and beautiful little structured pants and shorts and gold buttons and gold detailing. Those all speak to this elegance and this intentionality. So by incorporating those into your outfit, Outfit, you instantly raise the whole aesthetic and kind of tap into that with having to do very very little. My next tip to always look elegant is to really lean into the color navy. I love navy as you know and I recommend it a lot because it's very versatile and then also it suits most people and most coloring. So if you are interested in personal color analysis or color theory, the color navy tends to work within all of the seasons and you can definitely kind of play around with it a little bit in order to make it feel really custom to you. So like I've done today, you can wear navy on the bottom and then a lighter top um, up top if you kind of don't like navy up by your face. Or alternatively, if you love navy by your face, you can wear a navy top and then a lighter pair of pants or maybe a skirt or something. And I find navy to be so versatile for most of the year as well. So it's become a really big foundational part of my wardrobe. It's like black, but not black. And so it kind of feels a little bit more intentional again because black is very easy to find, very accessible 
accessible and navy feels like you took it one step further and then also i have to mention that the navy that lily silk comes out with is a really beautiful navy it's kind of right perfectly in the middle it's not too cool it's not too warm and it's very rich and saturated so especially if you have coloring similar to mine i think you'll really love this and finding that perfect kind of navy can be a little bit tricky and especially one that is perfectly accented by the gold detailing my next tip to always look elegant and a very easy way to elevate your outfits every single day is to again lean into that intentionality by mixing colors but specifically here i want to talk about your bag and your shoes and my recommendation to keep it feeling modern is to match your bag to your top or your shoes but try to avoid doing all three at the same time i think it's a really nice way to kind of deconstruct it a little bit and especially when you're looking at something very classic very timeless throwing it off ever so slightly allows you to have more flexibility within that styling and ultimately keep it very very current and modern feeling and i think that's so important as you're developing your personal style and especially if you're leaning into those timeless pieces because you do not want to feel stale or stagnant so by changing up the rules or how you're mixing and matching you keep things feeling very very fresh my next tip comes down to the things that you bring into your wardrobe in the first place and being really intentional about finding things that are really beautiful well made and then taking care of those so that they last as long as possible and I love this because as I've done this for myself it's allowed me to build my wardrobe of pieces that I love and I come back to and then I don't wear out of quickly and then on top of that I'm able to really incorporate that longevity and really lean into the personal side of personal style because when you have things that you can wear and you can enjoy and then you can do that across many seasons and many years you can really lean into that personalization and change change up how you wear them and kind of lean into your mood and how it changes throughout your lifetime. So especially as I always recommend, pay attention to the fibers that you love and the materials. I definitely personally gravitate towards natural materials like silk and I love wool. I love uh, cashmere, of course, and cotton and then any blend within that. And then I also think that it's really nice here to pay attention to the little details of the construction of a piece. And especially when you're looking at something that's really well made, you'll be able to tell instantly like the top that I'm wearing today the stripes line up so perfectly and everything looks very intentional in the construction of the overall garment and that does so much in how it's going to wear and then ultimately how you're going to be able to style that and allow that to really work within your wardrobe and then also pay attention to again the construction that you like and the fit that you like and that brings me to my next tip which is to when in doubt bring some structure into your outfit so when it comes to my own personal style I've figured out that I I love to do this in blazers and I love blazers on top of everything basically and if it was cold enough year round I would wear them year round so lean into those pieces for yourself maybe that's a pair of structured or tailored pants and finding those pieces that allow you to bring that structure into your outfit allows you to lean into that formality and that elegant feeling is that perfect balance between formal and comfortable so blazers are very comfortable for me and I love that I get that sharp shoulder line and then I can cinch them in at the waist a little bit especially in the recent years i'm kind of drifting back towards my fitted blazers that i love rather than the oversized that have been so popular recently and it feels really nice to incorporate that structure back into my outfits and my last tip to always look elegant and elevate your outfits every single day with ease is to find those pieces that you love but then adapt them to suit the weather that you have so you have some version of those items all year long so i mentioned earlier that i love structure and I love structured pants and tailored pants but it's not possible to wear pants all year round where I live now so the last couple years I've figured out that I can get that same look by going for a pair of tailored shorts so you can see that this pair of pants it's got the beautiful gold buttons it's fitted so perfectly and it's in this gorgeous navy and I can get that exact same effect by going for a pair of shorts that have the same styling details and it allows me to really lean into those pieces that I'm loving but adapt them for the actual life that I'm living. That way I don't have entire gaps in the year where I feel like I can't dress the way that I want to. So spend time customizing this for yourself and I know that when I started doing that instead of kind of fantasizing about the weather I wish I had it made such a big difference so I definitely recommend it for you. So I'm going to link everything that I styled in the description box down below along with information on that discount code. I will also put it here for you so you have easy reference. I'm going to put the color information, my sizing and measurements for reference, 
difference in comparison. And then definitely let me know if there's any tips that I didn't recommend that you personally use. I love hearing from you and I would love to know your recommendations. Thank you to Lily Silk for sponsoring today's video. Thank you, of course, for watching it and I'll see you in my next one. Have a great day.